He is known for his role as a Roman general and governor who campaigned against the Visigoths and Vandals. He was an ally of Galla Placidia and engaged in Roman civil wars on her behalf. His name is Bonifacius. In the tumultuous era of the Western Roman Empire, one name stands out among the military leaders, Bonifacius, a Roman general and governor of the Diocese of Africa. Known for his strategic brilliance, Bonifacius embarked on daring campaigns against the Visigoths in Gaul and the Vandals in North Africa. His military prowess and unwavering loyalty earned him the trust and support of Galla Placidia, a powerful figure and advisor to Valentinian III, the Roman Emperor. As an ally of Galla Placidia, Bonifacius found himself caught in the midst of Roman civil wars. He valiantly fought against the generals Felix in 427-429 and Aetius in 432, both of whom sought to challenge Galla Placidia's authority. In a decisive battle at Rimini, Bonifacius emerged victorious, securing a significant victory for his cause. However, this triumph came at a great cost. During the Battle of Rimini, Bonifacius suffered a fatal wound, sealing his fate as a legendary figure in the annals of Roman history. Despite his untimely demise, Bonifacius left behind a legacy that would be carried on by his son-in-law, Sebastianus. As the Patricius of the Western Roman Empire, Sebastianus took up the mantle of leadership, ensuring that Bonifacius's contributions to the empire would never be forgotten. Bonifacius's story is a testament to the relentless spirit and indomitable courage of a Roman general. His campaigns against the Visigoths and Vandals showcased his military genius, while his loyalty to Galla Placidia in the face of civil war revealed his unwavering dedication to his cause. Bonifacius's life and sacrifice serve as a reminder of the profound impact that political events can have in shaping the course of history. In the chaotic year 432, Bonifacius found himself thrust into a tumultuous power struggle within the Roman Empire. After the tragic execution of his wife and a deacon, allegedly orchestrated by Flavius Aetius, Bonifacius was appointed as the Magister Utriusque Militiae and Patricius of the West by Placidia. Despite his previous failures in Africa, Placidia saw potential in Bonifacius and entrusted him with a critical task, to confront Aetius and his Gallic army. With his son-in-law Sebastianus by his side, Bonifacius led his forces into a decisive battle against Aetius at Rimini. Against all odds, Bonifacius and Sebastianus emerged as the victors, forcing Aetius to retreat to his private estates. However, the victory came at a great cost. Bonifacius sustained a fatal wound from a lance during the fierce conflict. In the aftermath of the battle, Sebastianus, now appointed to fill Bonifacius' position, sought to eliminate Aetius through assassination. But Aetius managed to escape to the court of the Huns and returned with their support. Meanwhile, Sebastianus faced mounting challenges. His unpopular leadership and allowance of piracy among the troops eroded his support both in the court and among the soldiers. Ultimately, Sebastianus was exiled, leaving the path clear for Aetius to rise as the dominant power in the Western Roman Empire. In a surprising turn of events, Aetius married Bonifacius' widow, Pelagia, allegedly at his own request. With Bonifacius' death and Aetius' ascent, the balance of power shifted, shaping the future of the empire in ways that would be felt for years to come. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.